then you took a piece of uh, Today we are heading up onto the York Walls for our little walk for the morning. This is one of the steepest bits and we have to go up and up. Hence me getting out of breath in a minute. So, weather's fine, sun's out, he's got his hat on and we're on the way. Well, hopefully show some more footage, footage very soon. Bye for now. So we're now on the descent on the way down on the first part of the wall towards the Minster. Mrs. Jones. Morning. Oh. Lovely day, lovely sunny day. Just a few clouds about today, but um, still nice and warm. So we're on our way down towards one of the bridges and we come off the wall and have to regain it at another part. So we'll speak to you soon. The railway station. Busy little hub. And as I say, we're on the descent down towards the ground. And we get off across the bridge and regain the walls on the other side. And this is where you re pick up the walls after coming off the second leg of the journey. Some more steps to, to climb. Jones and Toll. So we pick it up here. I think that must have been originally where the wall joined as well. And you come into one of the main gates. As you can see, one of the gates came down to stop you from getting in. Some more steps. This brings you out with this lovely pub garden. It's not actually called the Fat Badger, it's the Lamb and Lion. The Lamb and Lion Inn. And we've got the Fat Badger brollies up. And we'll see another chain in the bench. And we carry on. This is one of the most scenic parts of the walls with the minster in the background. Plenty of gardens. One more steps. And one more steps. Which gives you the exercise you need. And there's plenty of gardens as we go on further on the walls. Can't quite see her. She's down there somewhere. Okay. Alice in Wonderland. She stands there, Alice. You may say who's Alice. Another view of the wonderful gardens which belongs to the hotel. We had a walk round to the hotel last time to see what it was. I can't quite remember the name though. I'll try and add it in though at some point. The gardens are wonderful. Go again. 
on. Stop for a bit of refreshment and join the walls again, which obviously when you mean you're joining the walls, you have to go up the sets of steps. You go down, you come up. So this is the second or third part of the wall. Third. Third part of the wall. This part of the wall takes you off to run with a moat. Because um, obviously the walls don't go all the way around York because the moat stopped invaders from coming in. So this finishes off at the moat and then you have to walk past the moat and rejoin the walls again. So we'll uh, be with you when we do that. This is where we, the wall comes to a descent. Descent? Descent? So we're heading down now to the end of the wall. Um, I say this is where you come off to the main road and where the, uh, the moat is. So the wall actually was never built for the final part and you have to rejoin it again near a council estate. Because the moat was here, they didn't need to build the wall. There was no access across it, so. Join that one, rejoin the wall again. A map of the wall, of the walls. You can see for yourself. If you ever feel like doing it yourself, that's the way they roll. And that is the actual moat, which is there. And that's the reason why there's no walls along here. Because obviously that kept the invaders out. So this is where you join the wall for the last the last leg. Um, the third part of the journey, with some more steps that takes you around the council estate. So it basically goes straight on a straight line to the corner and then heads back in towards the city centre. And so this is a council estate bit as well as um, I think student unis I think it's probably student um, living accommodation These are actually um, disused, abandoned by the looks of things. So that's why it's all overgrown. But the ones around the corner are actually lived in.
Nice little pub there. People use this to outside. Having a drink. Must be closed. Closed on a Monday maybe. This is where you have to cross the road to get back on the wall. As you can see. So, this is the final part of the descent of the wall where we started off this morning. This is um, where we always finish off. It comes to an end. Lovely historical building at the very bottom of this, this um, part of the wall. And you come off at the end. So we're lucky to have a look in. And it's open. Just see Clifford's Tower, top of it in the background, having been it's all being done up. In the local travel lodge in the background with the wither spoons. This is Fisher Gate Tower. And that's Fisher Gate Poston Tower, which I, does open for the public. I've been in once. And that's it.